here with Rusty. How are you, baby? Hey, I'm doing good. How's it going? It's going great. This is your second day here at NAMM? Yeah. yeah. You, you've been at the Dean booth, which yeah. was the rockin'. Yeah, I've been at the Dean booth, been at Protones, played last night at the Wimbash, and uh, just busier than hell. You got some pretty sweet guitars. Thank you. Tell Thank me you. a little bit about yeah, that. Yeah, absolutely. Let me grab this thing. Um, this is the RC7 USA, Im uh, I almost said import. No, it's the USA model. And that's Yeah, that's right. My signature guitar. And it is a badass seven string. And, you know, it's just some of the things that make it the guitar that it is are some of the extra features that we put on this guitar to make it more unique and more playable and really an advancement for the seven string guitar. So let's just kind of talk about the neck first. The neck is the thinnest seven string neck on the planet. It's really thin. And when you're playing seven string, the necks are wider than a six string. So for me, it makes a huge difference if the neck is thinner because, you know, you got to reach around and be able to grab it. So it's a really thin neck. It's got the tallest frets on the planet. The frets are really tall. They're, I believe they're Dunlop 6000 fret wire. So basically when you're playing this guitar, it's your fingers against the string and against the fret. So your fingers don't actually drag across the fretboard, which will kind of slow you down. So you also have to develop a really light touch because if you're pressing down and really gripping too hard, you can actually make the guitar go out of tune by simply fretting too hard. But that's, that's a good thing because you develop light touch, like I said, and allow you to play faster and cleaner and smoother in the long run. So yeah, that's, it very different. yeah, yeah. Like it's that. really flat. And also we sunk the neck lower into the body so that we could keep the tremolo more flush with the body also. If you look this way, the tremolo sets flat in the body. It's not sticking up. Most tremolos stick up, you know, the side of it. And what this does is when you're picking, it allows you to keep your picking hand more even. Because a lot of times when you're on guitars with the trim sticking way up, it's all nice and even while you're on all these strings, but as soon as you get down here, it's like your hand drops off, and that changes all your picking technique. So we've eliminated that problem by lowering the neck and the trim into the body, which makes it, again, more playable. The other thing is it comes with low-profile low tuners. Because for me, if I play on a, on a regular tremolo, the fine tuners stick way up here. And again, that, that's where my hand is when I'm picking. So we've eliminated that issue as well, making the guitar, again, more playable, more user-friendly, and that's what you need. It's got a couple of EMG 707s, uh, one volume knob, that's really all you need, one three-way, no tone knob. I mean, my tone's always on 10, why have it? It's just one less thing you got to worry about when you're on stage. You know, is the tone up, is it down? It's really, literally yeah, built it, for it, you in Shredder. built, right? streamlined performance, eliminate any distractions. And I've heard this, this actually, this guitar has done really, really well yeah, with Dean. Yeah, they can't make them fast enough, so that's awesome. Now, another really key feature is the cutaway of this guitar. The cutaway goes past the 24th fret, so when you slide up here to play the guitar, you're not hitting the body. All other guitars you hit. Also, that's why this pickup is on an angle, because the cutaway is so deep. If you were to straighten out the pickup, it would be poking out, right? right? And it also looks cool, and it sounds good, too. Now also the cutaway is wider this way so that when you're doing big stretches you're not hitting. We've also sculpted out the back of the guitar because if the guitar was the normal width, even if you made the cutaway wider, the back of that horn would be digging into the back of your hand. So you can get up here and do ultra stretching and not be limited by the guitar. And it's all smooth and sculpted in. We actually brought the neck joint back further too so you can get your thumb up higher. So you can really access all the frets and play the whole guitar without being limited by the body. I mean, guitar players advance over time, and the guitar has to advance with the guitarist. And that's what we've done with this guitar. It's a complete advancement, letting the player play. And that's the proof of it, that's right? That's right. There. Letting the player play more freely without being limited by the guitar. So really, the only limitations you have are the ones you set on yourself. That is amazing, and we're going to be right back with you guys. Thank you, Rusty, oh, so much. Welcome. We're going to be hanging out. See you in a little bit. 